That breaking news in Moncrief, where police say a man is charged with attempted murder after a shootout with officers. This is video at the investigation. Police said the suspect shot at an officer 10 times. Now this is his new picture that JSO just released in the last half hour. It shows the bullet holes in the windshield and the hood of the police cruiser. And you can see right there, right at the steering wheel, at least six holes. And then again, that other one down below in the hood. Then moments before we went on air at 10, look at this. We watched as an SUV was chased by police and they sped right through that crime scene tape and passed our crew. Again, the new video there of that SUV going through the tape, followed by cruisers from JSO. Wow. I'm John Bachman. I'm Emily Turner in for Tanika Hughes tonight. Action News Jack's Ben Ryan is live on Moncrief and in Moncrief. And Ben, that SUV just sped by you as you were getting ready for your live report at 10 o'clock. Yeah, Emily, it was maybe five minutes before our live shot at 10 o'clock when what we learned was a stolen SUV involved in this police pursuit drove right through the crime scene of an officer involved shooting. Officers then chase that SUV down Gulf Fair. And I want you to take a look again. Take a look at your screen. That driver sped through the police tape that was up and followed by officers. Lieutenant at that scene we went to just a few minutes away told me he was driving recklessly. Prior to the pursuit, they realized the car was stolen and then said the driver fled police. They say that he crashed through two fences and is being arrested. Now again, that pursuit went through the crime scene of an officer involved shooting when officers exchanged gunfire with a suspect who was arrested after getting tased. Between a suspect and JSO officers ends with a 30 year old man getting tased and a woman's house shot up. I thought of somebody was banging trying to get in the house, but it was actually shooting. I heard my daughter and son screaming and hollering. It was like mom, someone shooting in the house. So I at that meeting, my thought was my children. JSO chief of investigations TK Waters says a traffic stop for tinted windows turned into gunfire between the passenger of that car and JSO officers. Waters told us the passenger identified as convicted felon Demetric Manning tried running away from several officers mid stop and at one point said he turned around and shot 10 times at police even hitting one officer's car that officer shot back through the front windshield police say they eventually got him to drop the gun but said Manning didn't move far from it and tried to go for his gun again after verbal commands distracting and de-escalating the situation police said they tasered him police say the angle the suspect shot at lines up with the home of neighbor Kiara Clay who said at least two bullets went into her house I'm just thanking God because I don't have to be out here playing in a funeral you know, it could have been any of them children and as a mother that's terrifying to come home and you think you about to relax or enjoy the day and you got to duck from bullets. Clay said she had five kids in the house at the time of the shooting and is hoping the violence in Jacksonville stops. My kids are shucking up. They're like, Mom, this is a lot. You know, they like they never had to experience that. They just wanted to. It scared them a lot. So this was like a close call for them. And police also said that the suspect in the officer involved shooting had outstanding warrants at the time of the traffic stop. For local coverage you can count on, I'm Ben Ryan, Action News Jacks.